Hello everybody! In this video, I'll show you how to make a clean installation of Windows 11 on a computer or laptop from a bootable flash drive or disk. As we know, the first build of Windows 11 is already available for anyone who wishes to install it. If you already have a copy of Windows 10 installed on your computer, it can be upgraded to Windows 11 without having to use a bootable drive, and with all data and registration details preserved. There's a detailed video tutorial for that, so you can visit our channel by following the link below this video. However, today's video will help you if you consider making a clean installation of Windows 11. For installation, the first thing you need is a bootable USB drive with Windows 11. You can find detailed information on creating such drive in my previous video, and you can find the link in the description as usual. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. So, let's begin. By connecting a bootable disk or a flash drive to your desktop computer or laptop and restart it. If the computer won't boot from the installation media, access BIOS or UEFI and change the boot priority options. If necessary, you can watch another video on our channel to see how to enter BIOS or UEFI and boot your computer from a USB drive. Just check the link below. After booting from the USB drive, you will see a standard Windows booting window. Depending on the computer's configuration, this window may be there for several seconds to several minutes. In the next window, choose the language, time format and currency, as well as keyboard layout, and then click Next. After that, hit Install Now. At this point, you can also go to the recovery environment by clicking on Repair your computer, but we are not interested in that now, so let's skip it. Then you will see a window saying Setup is starting, which means the system is getting everything ready to install Windows 11. It could take some time. In the next window, you'll be asked to enter a product key to activate Windows 11. If you have no key to use, click I don't have a product key. Select the version of the operating system, Next, accept the license agreement. After that, you get to the window selecting the installation type. Choose the second type, Custom. This is the one that lets you run a clean installation, and that's exactly what we need. In the next window, you should select where to install Windows 11. This could be a local disk if this computer had an operating system installed before, or some unallocated space if the drive is new or the partitions have been removed before the installation. If you choose to install it on an existing local disk, be careful, as all of its data will be destroyed. Also, at this stage you can allocate the disk space of a new drive to have several local disks of any size you wish. Remove or format existing partitions or create new partitions. Do it with a bunch of available options. Delete to remove an existing partition, Format to format it, and New to create a new one. One more time, I'd like to point out, any actions that involve creating, formatting or removing partitions or logical disks inevitably result in deleting their data. If there is no need to divide the disk into logical partitions, the installer will create a partition automatically on the disk that he chooses. Choose the disk where you'd like to install Windows and click Next. The installation process will start. Now let's wait until it is complete. After another restart, the Settings configuration window will appear. Select the country origin, keyboard layout and input method. If necessary, you can add extra options. Now, wait a bit while the operating system is checking for updates. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in. If you don't, it's a good chance to finally create one. After that, the system will suggest you to create a Windows Hello pin. Uh, 
At the next stage, select your privacy settings, choose your options and click Next. The operating system will check for updates. After that, you will see a greeting window and the operating system will start the process of getting your device ready for work. When it is over, the system boots to desktop and it means that Windows 11 installation is complete. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!